Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky Jr. What is going on, everyone? Henry Kaminsky here from UniqueDesigns.net with another Brand Doctor podcast for you. And today's, this week, I should say, we got a theme going on. And this week, we're going to be talking about keys to building and growing a great brand. So today's Daily Gem is all about this particular topic. I'm calling it running as fast as you can just to stand still. You know, I've always loved this phrase from Alice in Wonderland because I see so many people who this describes their everyday life. So many entrepreneurs who work extremely hard day in and day out. You know, they're good, hardworking people. And they're trying to run as fast as they can every single day just to keep slipping backwards. And this is this goes for countless business owners. It's just the way that they function. It's the way they operate. And that's what business ownership means to them, which is a sin. Meanwhile, I see other folks who it all seems so easy for. Folks whose business seem to grow literally on autopilot. And I want, I wanted to know the difference for years. So I studied this effect because I wanted my clients to be in the class of people whose business just grow exponentially. And what I chalked it up to is this. It's like having a great band. In order to have a great brand, it's like having a great band. Take Springsteen, for example. It's an amazing group of guys. Knew, they knew each other forever, and they all come together, and they rock out and make epic music for decades. The same thing goes for Bon Jovi, and the reason why I'm explaining these two guys or using these two guys as examples because I'm a Jersey boy myself. These two guys are legends and are both from New Jersey, and you know I've grown up listening to their music for my whole entire life. And, you know, Bon Jovi, I was lucky to actually work for him uh, on a really cool project back in 2000 and I think it was seven or eight and actually got to work with him on two of his world tours um, a couple years later. So, you know, it was, it was really awesome to kind of see the behind the scenes stuff, which made me realize that, You know, having a great brand is like having a great band. So today's lesson is about how to get your brand growing and thriving each day. And I know it's easier said than done, but it's actually easier than you think. So I want to give you a great example. I want to take one of my good friends, for example, Russell Brunson. This guy makes generating $2 million a month look like literally a walk in the park. And I was always fascinated by how he does it. How is someone able to generate $2 million a month with his brand? And I noticed after I've spent two years with him, um, actually working with him, I, I did a lot of the branding for ClickFunnels, um, and I was actually in um, his inner circle program for quite a while as well. So I found after being around him for so long, I found two very obvious ways that he grew his brand to this level. And it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. And it's so obvious after you hear this, you're going to slap yourself in the forehead because it's really not that hard. So one is he's got a tremendous team. He's got a phenomenal team. And the second is he stays in his lane every single day. So let me dissect this real quick. So there's absolutely no one on his team that's dead weight. Every single person has a specific focus and does their job and does it extremely well. You know, he's got John Parks, who's the Facebook master. 
He's got Melanie who's in charge of his scheduling and logistics for his inner circle program and the live event and all the uh, the speaking gigs that he gets. Then he's got one guy, Dave Woodward, who takes care of all the biz development and is an awesome guy. Worked with him quite closely um, when we were doing the Funnel Hacker radio uh, podcast uh, development. And um, then he's got Brendan. He's got, is it Brendan or Brandon? I forget. I think it was Brandon. Brandon his is is his video producer. I mean, you can see, you see the quality of of Brandon's work. I mean, it's top notch. So it's a very small but highly efficient band, if you will, and they're all staying in their lane and doing what they do best. And the the key here is Russell is not trying to do everything on his own. He knows that's a uphill battle, uh, which leads to my second point. He's, he's all about staying in his lane. You know, this dude loves creating content and interacting with his audience. You know, so what does he do? Exactly that every single day. You know, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. I can do a lot of things, a lot of things. But the days of me trying to convert files into blah, 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 you know, export this and export all the tech stuff, that's long gone for me. You know, I've spent 10 years doing that. Actually, I should say eight. You know, the past two years has been a lot of the entrepreneurial stuff that I've been getting into where I've built a team around me to be able to do a lot of that extra work and have me doing exactly what I love to do, which is creating content and working with clients one-on-one -on -one and having that interpersonal communication and really working with with other entrepreneurs on an intimate basis. So, you know, if I have to jump in and get my hands dirty here and there, you know, I'll do what I have to do to get the job done. But that's not going to be an everyday thing for me because it's not a good use of my time. And time is your most valuable asset. So you want to be able to do things and allocate your resources wisely and really leverage your time to the best that you can do. So how many people out there that are listening right now feel like they're running in place, spinning your wheels every single day, trying to get ahead, yet at the end of the day, you close up shop and you feel like you've accomplished nothing. You know, it sucks. I know. I've been there. You know, I've been there, done that, and got the t-shirt, which was something, it was a little phrase that my mom always used to say, you know, and it's a sin to see so many business owners out there trying to do it all when they're really not doing much at all, but fighting an uphill battle. You know, trying to build a brand like this is like trying to paint a 5,000 square foot home with a toothbrush. You know, that you think you're saving money, but at the end of the day, it's, it's still costing you. You know, ever hear that saying, you know, if you think I'm expensive, wait until you hire an amateur? Well, I'd like to add to that by saying, yeah, and try to do it yourself. See how much is see how much that's going to cost you in the long run. So especially when you're you're you, you don't know what you're doing. You know, imagine what kind of results you'd be able to achieve if you had a team, you know, a a a great band, you know, doing the heavy lifting for you and 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 doing those things that you're not that good at. You know, so what if you could stay in your lane and do the things that you were awesome at while the other team members or band members play their instruments the way, you know, they play. You know, for example, I have two branding on the man clients who's been in the program now for probably six or seven months. And watching these two guys evolve is absolutely amazing. You know, in one month, they generated more than, I think it was like $30,000 in revenue because they focused in on their strengths and delegated everything else out. You know, they weren't out there building funnels. They weren't out there trying to design logos for their uh, sub brands and trying to do all the copywriting and all of that stuff. They focused on creating great content that was going to connect with their target audience. That's what they did. And they delegated all the other stuff out to me and my team, which just helped them get ahead so much further and so much faster. So I want to lay down 
today's prescription. So the brand doctor is prescribing you this. So I want you to ask yourself, how does your brand get new customers nowadays? And are you focusing in on your strengths in order to bring them in? Or are you continuing to spin your wheels? You know, continuing to sprint in place, then tell me, you know, I should say this. Continue to sprint in place, then tell me how far you get. And I'm being sarcastic here, but I want you to understand and I want to hammer this point home for you. If your brand isn't growing and striving each and every day, it's dying. There's no in between. So if you want to grow a successful brand, you have to surround yourself with the right people. You got to leverage other people's strengths while you stay in your lane and do what you do best. And if it means that that's an investment on your part, I strongly advise that's what you spend your money on. Stop trying to spend your money on the next course or the next fly-by-night software and start focusing in on investing in yourself and investing in people and investing in resources that is going to help you get ahead rather than spending frivolously on things that don't matter. So that's today's focus. Understand that in order to grow a prosperous brand, you need to stay in your lane and you need to start thinking about building out a team that will have a group of band members all playing their own instruments, doing their own thing while you do yours. So have an awesome day, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Again, I appreciate all of you guys that are subscribing to, and 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 just showing a tremendous amount of love to the Brand Doctor podcast. And if this is valuable to you, all I ask is if you can share this with a friend or colleague to help them, you know, with their business and help them get ahead with their branding, you know, so they could take their business to the next level. So have an awesome day, guys, and I'll check you on the next episode. Talk soon. You've been listening to the Brand Doctor Podcast with Henry Kaminsky Jr. To get your appointment with the doctor, visit Brand Audit at www.uniquedesigns.net.